guys, this is Lena for Nippon Ski. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while, but you know, things have gotten pretty busy around here. But now that we're stuck in quarantine, I decided I have seven years worth of stories to that I can just be telling you guys. <laughs> so the first one is going to be how and why I came to Japan. The next one is going to be why I left Japan. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. Hit the subscribe, click the bell so you never miss a video, and stay tuned. Okay, so this Okay, so topic one. I think I'll talk about how I came to Japan just because so many people live in America and they have this idea of you know going to this place with anime and it's just like the best thing since sliced bread to a lot of people to be able to experience Japan so the question I um, get asked a lot is how did I get to Japan in you know America so I'm gonna cover that first um, what happened was is that there was the giant earthquake and tsunami back in 2011 and it pretty much ravaged the north of the country. Um, places like Tohoku and uh, Fukushima. Um, <clears throat> it caused a lot of damage to the country. Um, and a lot of foreigners fled the country because of that. There were lots of earthquakes, big and small, just like um, up and down the, the the coast of Japan so many people that were teaching English fled the country and that's when I got a call kind of out of the blue uh, from a friend who was already in Japan and she said hey we've got positions opened up now some of the teachers have you know gone back home and would you like to come to Japan so prior to this I had been wanting to go to Japan for a very long time I'm gonna say I to me it felt like forever but at least two or three years and um, I had a bank job and I was working in a cubicle and I'd be studying Japanese and I really really just got into it right after I graduated college because I started watching of course anime else <laughs> I get introduced to a lot of things um, so the music from anime is really what drew me into it like I just found one band after another band after another band and I've always been a big you know music top 40 person and the music was so different than what I was used to that it just sucked me in and ever since then I wanted to go to Japan I would study Japanese in my cubicle and <laughs> and people would be like what are you doing <laughs> and I'm like I'm going to Japan one of these days I'm gonna go to Japan so I'm studying Japanese on my own nobody there to help me uh, and um, you know I would get kind of those backhanded comments like oh when are you going to Japan when are you going to Japan and it's like I don't know but I'm gonna go <laughs> you know what is it to you so um, I got a lot of those comments um, anyway so the call came from one of my best friends now and you know I met her at an anime convention so that's one thing you just you never know who you meet at those conventions they could definitely you know help you out in ways you never expected and that is exactly what happened and I ended up going to Japan pretty soon after to teach at her school and yes there were lots of earthquakes when I got there they were still reeling from a lot of the aftershocks from the giant earthquake because it's not just one giant earthquake it's just like several there's just so many aftershocks is what they were experiencing um, and I did actually go up there to volunteer and I'll talk about that in another video so once I got to Japan the question I get a lot is from Japanese people why did you come to Japan <laughs> and the PC answer is always you know, I want to experience the culture, Japanese culture, the food, and that's always a PC answer. But um, really, I wanted to go to as many concerts as I possibly could, and um, everything else was just a bonus to me, you know. 
Um, there were definitely in that past seven years crazy things that happened and um, bad things that happened, good things that happened. Um, it just becomes kind of everyday life after a while of living there. You just get used to it. It's, but I still think I maintained a lot of that that fresh tourist kind of perspective just because there's so much to do there that I'm like, oh, I want to go to this place. Oh, I want to go to this place. And I went to a lot of places. I'm kind of bummed at the places I never did get to a chance to go to and experience. Um, things were really expensive there, um, a lot more expensive than I anticipated when you first go to start working in Japan. Um, a lot of these I went to an Akira, so I was kind of lucky that I got paid a decent salary. And there are good Akiwas and bad Akiwas. There are okay contract companies and terrible contract ALT assistant English teacher companies. And I'll get into that in another video. So that is it for today. Um, if you're in Japan or have been there, you can leave me a comment and let me know. How and why you decided to go to Japan and what did you, what was your experience like there and stay tuned for some more videos from Nippon Ski if you like my accessories I got them from Deco and Dice and I will leave a link in the description box below thank you so much for watching also follow me on three gear studios YouTube channel we have great tabletop gaming videos as well as role-playing game videos arts like acrylic pouring and crafts from Deco and Dice Thanks so much to our Patreon patrons. We definitely couldn't do this without you. You can support us by going to Patreon slash Through Your Studios. Thank you so much for watching Nippon Ski and hopefully we'll have many more videos for you.